with the first modern warfare. It was topical, raw. It spoke to the world around us. And I'm really honored to be creating new, exciting experiences in the Modern Warfare franchise. We knew that we couldn't just tell a story from the angle of the West. It's about different perspectives, everybody trying to get what they want. A lot about war has changed. It's not about good and evil. It's all shades of gray. There aren't sharp lines. Everything is life and death, and there are consequences. We get dirty, and the world stays clean. That's the mission. To get those different perspectives, we had to work with different consultants. We're trying to merge the authenticity from the actual battlefield and give the player something that they can invest in. If you've never been there and experienced it, you really can't even wrap your head around it. Having spent a lot of time in different conflicts around the world, I was able to give the creative team a deeper understanding of what it's like on the ground and what the civilians who have been caught in the crossfire are experiencing. The invaders of my country have no regard for human life. The story is so beautifully rendered and it's written with a lot of thought and care. It mirrors the world that we live in today. In our fictional country of Urzikstan, the superpowers, they can't fight directly. So instead, they fight through proxies. One man's terrorist is another man's freedom fighter. Nothing is ever straightforward. There are so many nuances. There's a gray area, and today's soldiers work in that space. They go out there and they do their best because they fight for what they believe in. The setup of this game is nerve gas gets stolen and may be in the hands of terrorists and players need to track it down and figure out who has it before it gets used against us or our allies. If you use these tactics, you are my enemy. No exceptions? None. How far are you willing to go? Where do you draw your line? And that's the question that's posed to every character. You're gonna play as three different characters. We got Sergeant Kyle Garrick. He is a SAS soldier working counterterrorism in London. We don't stand a chance in hell with these rules of engagement, Captain. They can tell us where, they can tell us when, don't tell us how. You've got Alex, he's a CIA operator. We gotta move now. He doesn't get to choose where he goes and what he fights for. He's a career soldier and Farah, the commander of a liberation force. She really breaks the mold. She's grown up in a land under occupation and she has become the leader of the resistance. Farah says, I am only willing to do what is honorable. I would rather lose than win by doing something dishonorable. You'll be reintroduced to Captain Price, but we've given him more humanity. You want to fight side by side with him because you know that you're fighting with the best. We set ourselves the goal of making something that was as authentic as we possibly could. And a lot of this came from talking with our Navy SEAL consultants. We bring our expertise from careers in the military, and we work with every single department and take experiences we've had and apply them. We're trying to hit every detail. The way we moved up the stairwell and the stack where guys are covering every angle. The authenticity was addressed right off the bat. It's always been the primary focus. Our belief is that the more accurate we can make it, the more the player can invest in it. They said, if you want to tell a really important story, tell a story about imperfect men doing an imperfect job and being expected to do it perfectly. Secure. Where do we draw the line, sir? You draw the line wherever you need it. Soldiers are in really difficult situations. You have to process the information and make those split-second decisions. We've worked very hard to give players freedom to choose how these encounters are going down. Any further complications and more at war? Well, that don't complicate it. 
to shed light on a whole other side of warfare. It's a big responsibility. Balancing that with an experience that is fun is exciting. It's incredible to navigate through these situations and to really feel like you're part of it. If you stay, we can help you. But if you stay, you fight. There's no uniforms. You don't know if the guy across the street has a gun or not. It's just as important to know when to pull the trigger as it is to know when not to pull the trigger. I want the players to appreciate the complexities, but I also want them to have fun. We're always after this feeling of the controller disappearing out of your hands, feeling like I'm experiencing it from the perspective of the character. That allows us to tell these deeper, richer, more immersive stories. And with Modern Warfare, we've, we've done it. End of the day, someone has to make the enemy scared of the dogs.